little school. <laughs> That's right. And what's the I school culture? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm so, playing on right now. I'm not going to lie. Okay. I'll, I'll try to help out. So I'm a little worried that this is going to dr- definitely drag out quite a bit. That's right. Um, yeah. I am with David now on this. <laughs> Um, because I thought, like, right where, where when this episode you, finished... You, you, you thought like, it's going to be one episode, and then you realized, yeah. oh no, there's part two coming next week? Yeah. I kept thinking, like, okay, like, because Hero Academia has done this before, we'll, they'll have, like, a match, but it'll wrap it up, like, they'll start and wrap it up in the same episode. We didn't get that this time. Like, it's, we, we basically just got a bunch of fucking mushrooms at the end. I'm thinking, oh my god. So, <laughs> to I be will... fair, though, I do appreciate the, the emphasis that they're putting on my boy. You know, um, I will say, t- I will say too that I, I actually enjoyed yeah, this episode. Right. Like, I I don't know, I just it, like I I was worried more worried last week, but I feel like this. I don't know, I really like that focus on on uh, Okuyami, and also like I just thought the whole fight between the two Edge Lords. Like, I actually really enjoy that for some reason. Just like like the sh- the shadow, just the shadow being versus like the shadow guy goes in the shadow. I don't know, like so 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 edgy, but I loved it. No. This has to be Johan's favorite episode, right? Because you get the two edge lords meeting together. Yeah. Like it was destiny that we fought against each other. Our like, fate are intertwined. Like, like get your ass to your corners, and then we'll start <laughs> to fight. You know. It was that oh, backstory too, where um, we're talking about when he was doing the internship with Hawks, and he was so yeah. pissed because he thought he, like Hawks was like wasting his time, or looking down on him. Like I felt that too. Sure. So, so I'm much more like I'm much more higher in this episode than like the previous ones, but. I wish it ended <laughs> just this battle. I didn't. I don't want them to go part two because we still have the other groups to go through. Uh-huh. They did have team battles though, or, or like as like parts of like the team battles, which I thought was actually pretty cool. The naval blaster guy had a useful has a, had a use, and also like the 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 invisible girl, her her, uh, her solar flare ability came in clutch again. Useless. I like her. She's cool. That's all she's done though so far. Like I want to see what else she can do. We, we you know, always... you you know, that's a step up from just being an invisible person. You know, mm-hmm. invisible yeah. person yeah. wearing gloves and boots. Yeah. All right. To be fair, what she did this episode, the naval guy did with him, like shower. Okay, so basically, <laughs> she didn't need to be in this group. All right. <laughs> to be fair, I think she's gonna come in the clutch and she's gonna win it for them though. I hope so. I hope so too. Also, guys, she's F, right? Because as of right now, she's naked, but she's got mushrooms growing on her body. Dude, she is. Oh, yeah. Like... Never mind. I forgot. Yeah. She, Good. She, she, uh, she's well, I, I do I not we... like that ability is just mushrooms. I just think it's actually stupid. I, I hate it. I'm assuming there's got to be something more than just mushrooms, right? There's, there's like, gotta be so something much more. like weird quirks in a show. And it's like how Brian just like focuses on the mushroom. It's the one Listen, that like, it's just breaks it. I just think the mushrooms are dumb, okay? Yeah. No, I absolutely <laughs> agree. Like, go go out on a farm, grow your mushrooms, and sell them. Okay, like <laughs> you have no use here. Uh, I I feel like there's definitely got to be more of a use to these mushrooms than just uh you know, we like uh than just having them sprout everywhere. That just seems very lame. Um, but it, they could always go you know vile plume on this. You have you know paral you know was it the paralyzed powder, sleep powder, poison powder? Come on. I basically just said the thing that was closest to a mushroom. <laughs> I, I'm I'm with you. The vile plume gang. Yeah, the uh, vile plume stuff. Like, there's got to be something yep. more to these mushrooms. Like, it's come on. That'd yep, be very fine. very lame. But and there, never mind. But uh, I I really got nothing else. Focus point for me was uh was uh Tokiomi's backstory. Um, hopefully this fight. Uh, wraps up next episode. If it goes, I think, uh, if it goes for another episode, I don't know what I'm gonna think about this season. I mean, the only time I would accept it is because it's focused on Togiyami. Because I feel like he's gotten the short end of the stick since yeah. season one. You know, yeah. Yeah. he was the one that got a badass internship with Hawks, who was a number two hero. They never really like, uh, you know, like explain it even further. And then even with the last two episodes, he was kind of like useless in a sense, where he didn't really shine. And uh, like, unless you count the movie where he was kind of badass too, but um, that's that wasn't canon. Right. But yeah, this is the first time where he's actually like had the ability to like showcase his abilities, and yeah. I think for his character and his skill set, like he deserves more than what he's been given so far. And his quirk is so cool, right? You know, but maybe I'm just an Edge Lord fanboy. I don't know. Maybe Same. That's just what it is. Well, I mean, that, that I mean, guy, with you, I guy. totally agree with you. So yeah, mm-hmm. Tokyo awesome. The other guy is just. 
fucking terrible. <laughs> I don't know. But the way this guy looks is just a creep. Like I wouldn't even call him an edgelord, man. I think he's just a creep. Uh, yeah, I guess. But yeah, hopefully they don't keep this up because this would be really disappointing. This was like season five. Just, just. I like, how, I like how that that one dude's target was the naval guy, and where he's just like, "Haha, you thought like my target was a Tokiyami guy? It was actually the naval blaster guy." I was like, "Why would it be him?" Of I all think, people on that fucking team, why would it be him? I think it was just because you can clearly point him out as one of the weaker links of the group. So it's like, didn't ignore the guy. Him. You know, just ignore him. <laughs> I mean, the goal of the game is just to capture them. So <sighs> how many? How many did they have to capture? Was it two or three? All it's of them? The majority, right? At the end yeah, of the time, it's the majority. Oh, oh it's, okay. I'm pretty okay. sure. Yeah, there's a time limit, and I think it's like majority at the end, or all of them at the end. So yep. yeah, yeah. Honestly, but that's all I really have. Yao Yozuru, I can't really, really pronounce her name. It sounds like her episode's next, or her time to shine is next week. Mm. I'm actually mm-hmm. curious. Um, I, I, first of all, Ken knows I like her character, so they yeah. do back to her. Wanna see. Yeah, I actually want to know more about her than actually she's like, like, she's like you know, the one, the one, the one character, character I'm interested in from <laughs> Class B. Like, I yeah. mean, I do, I do like it for the president because he's oh, so funny. You? But like, are you now? Like. <laughs> She's clear, she's clearly like the strongest one in that group. So, but I do love like, the president. How he's he he talks so much smack against Class A. <laughs> mm-hmm. like, so. Dude, that, that guy's just fucking annoying. That guy's so, terrible. I, I think he's pretty funny. Like he just, he talks I think so much he's funny smack. too. I, I, I'm interested to see like how he changed his quirk because before all I had to do was touch him. So I wonder what's uh what uh, he's improved. I, I, I just want to see more on screen, just talking smack and then just losing to Class B A after that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Lord. the more the comedy relief, I'll take it. The, the one thing I'll say I enjoyed from this episode, and not that it you know broke the molds in any ways, was just when all the teams were trying to strategize with each other, and then you have Bakugo just being like, <laughs> "Shut up, I'm gonna do this myself." <laughs> so, just typical Bakugo. No, oh, I enjoyed and, that for and, that and, one. And, it's definitely in, moving slowly. In Japanese, he said Bakugo. He says "ore sama," which is like a really like arrogant, narcissist way to describe oh, yourself. Fits so, him perfectly. Yeah, see, this is why not, I need you, I need these these lower backgrounds and cultural yeah, backgrounds because like because you don't you don't say like you don't say honorifics when referring to yourself like san or sama and so mm-hmm. and so like it's the ore sama is like it's like a type of like um kind of like like a gag in Japanese like where like if like you put on characters who are really narcissistic so that's, ah that's part well of, like, played the, the lost translation part right there so got it respect for Bakugo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Very fitting of him. Just because you like bullies, friend. They're not a bully. I like the ang- I like the anger part he of him. Likes, he... <laughs> <laughs> he likes bullies and talks to people. I, uh, don't worry. The bully. Tokyo Revengers got bullies. He is bully. Gangsters <laughs> galore. Dude, Bakugo just needs to start up his own like little uh his own YouTube page, basically where he's like a, how the, the, the comedy is where he's a, just driving. Just nah, he, me. it's like, later on life where he gets like a driver's license. He's just driving through uh traffic. And just watch this man rage. No, it just needs to be a Twitch I'm pretty sure he would just blow up. He would just blow up the other drivers. I'm just, I'm just, it's just, you know, I'm just, I'm just interested in what he does. You know, I, I, I <laughs> Dred, send a letter to the creator and ask for this as a spinoff. Dred literally just said, "I want to see myself animated." But that's Basically. <laughs> no, no, I don't hey, know what you're talking about, Brian. That, can, that can happen for a you, price. <laughs> you have no proof. No, you have too much to <laughs> oh, uh, Anyway, uh, I think I, I'm good there. Yeah, I just want to say yeah. for Koo, for, I, I, um, was it? I don't think it's, this is gonna be a whole season five, but yeah, just again as I've been saying in the beginning, that's why that's why I shred. I want the school stuff to move along. But you're getting your team battles that you want it though. That oh, is the yeah. one cool thing about this. Yeah, this I don't know. but I really, I need, a, I need a story to focus on. So, right, and then the problem is, right, like with each group, they each group has like an important character as well, right? Like you got Bakugo's group, you know, there's Bakugo's time to shine, right? Yeah. And then you got, you know, you even got a uh, what was it, the the, the team leader guy, uh, Ida. yeah, Ida, right? You know, he has time to shine as well. You got, you know, Todoroki, his time to shine. And then, you, of course, you got to have, like, Deku and uh, Shinso, like, his time as well. So, the, the fight. It's, 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 it's rough, man. I feel like this might be the majority, if not all, of season five. With the way I think it'll be a big part of it, yeah. yeah. A reminder, this is a shonen. It's just, like, how much, like, slower this moves uh, compared to the other shows. 
The thing is, yes. I'm honestly, I'm fine with this though. But I want, it, but I would like it to be just wrapped up in each episode. Like, just give them, you know, just yeah. put it up yeah. where they have one episode. We don't need like yeah. this double episode stuff because it's just, it's, with, especially with like, I don't want to call them minor characters, but technically minor yeah, characters. Minor characters. Yeah. <laughs> so, cast is a nicer word. Yeah, so. like I, definitely... I, I'd like the support cast, like uh, where they're actually getting like time to shine. Like, I'm fine with that, but two episodes is too much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, Justin. Go no, ahead. No, we're definitely getting better. I just couldn't help but think with like you know the multi-episode fight focuses. I just think of the worst case scenario of like Dragon Ball Z, for example. But obviously, oh hopefully, it'll never get back to those days no. of like eight episodes fighting one person. But oh I, God, I totally that's get it. Horrible. There's, oh, there's no Dragon Ball Z. If you try to go back, you better go back with some rose-tinted glasses or just it was, the highlights. It, it was good at the time. Okay, I don't know what happened. Hell Maybe. yeah! As a kid, you think as a kid, you, you have more free time, and you're just like, yeah, this is my shit. You know, I go to school, I come home, I have my attendees, and then I watch Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> See, it's, it's simpler times. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe nothing has changed. It's like I go to work now. I eat my tendies, and then I watch anime. So, man, maybe there I never go. grew up. There you go, starting Justin. Justin says tendies. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I actually asked about that, but but, but Justin Koo, that you know, that the, like things have changed from like back in our day. Like it's, there's just too many zoomers now. That's true. Whoa, easy there. Uh, uh, <laughs> ooh. We don't want to use that word here. Yeah, so yo, a, shit, was, okay. shit right. was not lit, yo, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. We're oh, done with the man. chicken tendies and lit, all right? Oh, yeah, no, no more. <laughs> but, we're going to end oh, there. I think we're done here. Yeah. So thanks for that. <laughs>